Now come to the next series program. In this series program, you can see a is equals to a plus 1 divided by 3, a plus 2 divided by 5, a plus 3 divided by 7. Now you can see a plus 1. The value of a is included from the user and it is uh, going to add with 1, 2, and 3 respectively. So increment in this loop is actually taken place by 1 and it is going to divide by 3, 5, 7. Okay, like this way. So how it is actually generated? Suppose if I am going to multiply it by the first term 1 with 2. So suppose the uh, it is x equals to 1. So y equals to like this. y equals to uh, a plus x. It means uh, a plus 1 like this. And how the 3 is generated? Suppose I am just going to declare z. z equals to x into 2 plus 1 so what is the value of uh, x it is 1 so 1 into 2 plus 1 so it becomes 3 so it is going to divide by z now okay suppose the value of x is 2 okay now x equals to 2 so x into x means 2 into 2 plus 1 so it becomes so it become 5 okay it becomes 5 and now it is going to a plus 2 divided by z means divided by 5 right so it is just look like a plus 2 divided by 5 okay so this is the logic for this series program so you can see i have already taken the number of terms in the variable n and the value of a is taken in the variable a and the variable double sum is declared as double to store the value of summation of this series as the probability of the sum value is uh, in the fractional so that's why i'm declared the sum variable as double and now i'm going to declare the uh, going to write the loop and here i'm just to declare the lcb i and it is start from 1 and it is up to n terms so i less than equals to n and then after i plus plus okay now i'm going to do the same operation it means a plus i divided by i into 2 plus 1 right so sum equals to sum plus what is a plus i okay divided by i into 2 plus 1 like this and this all the thing also within the uh, bracket otherwise it is going to divide first then going to add okay for this reason okay so this is the procedure so you can write in this thing like this way sum plus equals to like this way also so after the loop i am going to print system dot out dot print ln the sum value so this is the uh, i am just uh, print the sum value and now i'm going to run the program enter the number of terms so number of terms is 10 so enter the value of a suppose it is 3 then it becomes 2.0 okay now i'm going to run the program again enter the number of terms suppose 20 and enter the value of a is 5 so it becomes 5 suppose i'm going to run the program again and enter the number of terms is suppose 50 50 terms so much terms and i am going to get the value of this is sub 9 okay then it is 11 so you can see different different value uh, after entering the different value different types of summation value is occurred by using this series program so this series program is basically solved in this technique